Hello, my name is Petr Schmelauer, and in this third part of our tour of Canonco 5 program, I will introduce the analysis notebook. Its first page summarizes the analysis. This summary starts with the information about the analyzed data, followed by a summary of the variation explained in the ordination method. The total variation, called inertia in DCA, is explained by the ordination axes, and the summary table shows how much do individual axes contribute to this explanation. This value, for example, informs us that the first two DCA axes, those shown in the following two graphs, explain about 39% of the total inertia. I will now switch to the first created ordination diagram. It shows a scatter of symbols for plant species reflecting their relation with the ordination axis. This scatter is supplemented by the arrows for num numeric environmental variables and by the gray triangles for the individual management types. And so we can interpret the first horizontal axis of the DCA as a gradient of soil depth increasing from left to right together with increasing soil moisture. The plant species at the left side of the diagram are known to prefer drier conditions compared with the species at the right edge of the graph. The second vertical axis seems to be most correlated with the amount of applied manure increasing from the top towards the diagram bottom, again reflected in species like Elytrigia ripens or Lolium perenne, being located at the graph lower side, while species like Empetrum nigrum in the graph upper part. Note that the suggested interpretation represents hypothetical explanation, partly confirmed by my a priori knowledge of the ecological preferences of individual plant species. A confirmation based on the collected data would need to start from a constraint ordination, likely a canonical correspondence analysis, CCA, for this data set, extracting from the species composition data only that part of variation that can be explained by chosen environmental variables. And the effect of those variables must be tested, as I will demonstrate in the next part of our tour. But now we will look at the other diagram by clicking the Graph 2 tab. This is an attribute plot of the kind called symbol plot. The size of symbols, here the circles, codes the plotted attribute, here the species richness. The richness values are also used as the symbol labels. The symbol plot is again supplemented with the environmental variables suggesting that the highest grassland diversity in this data set occurs on the drier sides with intermediate levels of applied manure. The appearance of Kanoko graphs can be easily adjusted using the attribute editor. For example, if I would prefer the circles to be filled with a violet color, I must first select one of the circles right-click the selected circle to display the context menu and choose the select such like command so that the other circles are selected as well. Now I will display the attribute editor. Select its fill page and select the violet fill color there. To use the new color choice, I must click the Apply button. To use such a diagram in my paper, I can either copy it to the clipboard, for example in this way, or I can export it in a raster or vector format using the File Export Graph command. Alternatively, I can print the graph directly from the Kanoko program 
or even preview its print out look files like this. For all types of ordination diagrams, including this attribute plot, I can ask the Kanoko advisor to describe for the specific graph contents how to interpret it. To do so, you can click the Live Boy icon in the toolbar. Displayed advice contains not only the general description of the graph meaning, but also the rules one can use to quantitatively interpret ordination diagram contents in terms of the original data. I will close this third part of our tour of Kanoko 5 program by closing the project. Kanoko asks me whether to save it and after I select yes, I must confirm the name and location of the new file. In the next part of our tour, we will look at more advanced methods of constraint ordination and I will demonstrate how accessible they are in Kanoko 5.